going to show you how to make the super cute pumpkin shaped bread rolls. So to get straight on in there, we need to get our dough made and then proving. 500 grams of strong white bread flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of caster sugar. Just a quick stir to combine that. You want to make sure the sugar and the salt is really well mixed in. Now make a small well in your mix and add two teaspoons of yeast. Now get 300 ml of warm water. It must be warm to activate the yeast. Put my well in the centre with my yeast in that well. Then I'm going to add half of my water and then give that a stir with your fork to start to combine it. So after I've stirred that through a bit, it's now kind of lumpy, a bit raggy, and that means it's ready for the rest of your water. So I'm going to pour in the other half. So I'm just stirring this to combine. I've got all my water in there now. Once combined, start pushing together until it forms a dough. It will come together. I'm just gonna sprinkle some flour on my surface and just gonna get my dough kneading. I'm gonna knead it for about four to five minutes. And now I'm going back into my bowl. I'll put a bit of flour on the bottom of my bowl just to stop it from sticking. Straight into the bowl and a bit of flour on top so it doesn't form a crust at this point. Flour on the dough, I'm gonna add some cling film over the top and leave it to prove. Prove for 30 minutes in a warm environment, ideally a proving drawer or an airing cupboard. Cut six long pieces of string, roughly your arm's length. Soak your string in oil. So now we're gonna beat the air out of the dough. So you can see it's grown in size and it smells lovely already. Now we need to beat it. Great, that will do. So I've been quite rough with it, as you can see, just to beat the air out. Now I'm gonna flavor it. Grind two teaspoons of rosemary. Add half of your rosemary and sea salt to your dough. Fold your dough over, flatten it out, and add the other half of the rosemary and sea salt. I'm just gonna do a quick knead. But that's my basic dough. So now this is my rosemary and sea salt dough. To start with, we're gonna cut this roughly into six pieces. Give it a little quick knead and then make it into a perfect ball um, and then just leave it while I do the next ones. Great, so I've got my two plain ones here as you've seen. And I'm gonna add some color into my last one. So I wanted to just show you the colors that I've got here. This is a matcha green tea powder, tomato powder, sweet paprika, spirulina, turmeric, and this is beetroot powder. So you only want a really small amount. And rub that in, fold that over, knead it together. And you can see straight away how this marbles through. If you wanted to add more, of course you could. So where you've been putting the color over, and folding it over, make sure when you finish you don't end up with it like that, otherwise you're going to have a crack going all the way down your bun. So what you really want to do is squeeze it like this into a ball so that there's no gaps running throughout, so you've got a complete ball that way. Repeat this with your remaining dough. So you've got your balls, we've got our string that's been soaking in oil, and then I floured a tray ready just a little bit of flour thrown on top and that's going to keep the balls from sticking to the bottom. So you have your dough and then you just stick your spoon in about halfway down and that's going to create this to come up. You see it didn't go all the way through. Then you take your string, pull off the excess oil, make sure your string is two even ends and place this directly over the top, flip it over. Double knot. Nice. Flip it over and double knot. We'll go here. Flip it over. Here, flipping over. And the last one. String. Stringing up. Cut the excess bits. And there you have your first one of those. Once your buns have been strung, wrap your tray in cling film and leave to prove for 45 minutes to an hour. Once they've proved, take the cling film off and pop them in the oven. That's 180 degrees, 20 to 22 minutes. So that is how they'll look after they've been baked. So how you know they're done at this stage is that they've browned a little bit on the corners and also if you pick it upside down and tap, sounds hollow, which means it's perfect. 
Leave to cool for 15 minutes, then cut your string off from the knot only. You'll have to turn the bun over and back. Add a pecan or a rosemary sprig for the pumpkin stem and ready to serve. How cool is this? So i finished now, as you can see, I've got loads of different colours of bread buns and a little cheeky bit of pumpkin soup. So let's take a look inside at this glorious bread bun. Perfect, it looks good. Mm. Freshly baked, homemade bread. It's the best. So that is how you make a pumpkin shaped bread bun. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic Halloween. And hopefully you have some of this. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please subscribe to my channel. There's plenty more recipe videos coming your way. Vegan love. And when you are ready. Ah, yes. I'm getting my winter feels on. Ooh. Feel, there was a feel. Okay, I don't know. What are you doing? I don't know why I'm in like as a snake. Oh, what? Do I need to do that again? Just, yeah, you do need to do that again, yeah. You just said it's like you're farting. Well, stop making gas noises. I'm trying to talk so it's not just boring.